All right, Bishal Sarkar here, talk to you, talking to you about appreciation. One thing I want you to understand is this, what you appreciate, appreciates. What you appreciate, appreciates. So I want you to get in the habit of really appreciating other people. Like I'm talking about giving away compliments. Um, as a matter of fact, one thing I do every single morning is I make sure that I send appreciation video or an appreciation audio or an appreciation message to at least 15 people like this is before even 8 a.m. happens the very specific not generic the people that I'm grateful for and people who are doing good work some of them are team members family members friends neighbors somebody that I met recently uh, relatives so I'm sending appreciation messages all the time very gratefully and if you ever receive an appreciation message from you from me it's because I really appreciate you so I'm in the like um, one of my values is to really celebrate success, celebrate other people's success, celebrate other people's good behavior, celebrate other people's good things. For example, just the other day, one of our uh, clients, let's go this way. One of our clients, Kalpana, uh, got her first paid speaking engagement. I mean, I don't know about you, but uh, you're probably from a corporate background or you run a business or whatever you do you're a teacher I don't know if people have paid you money just to hear you speak for 60 minutes right and she has you know tried many many years to do that uh, she came to me a few years ago in 2018 and since then she's a part of my mastermind um, my elite level uh, mentoring group and she has got paid People have paid her to speak. So the moment I heard that and she sent me this message, the screenshot of that payment, that check, um, I was so happy and I told her, I, I celebrated her. So I want to tell you quick reasons why it's important for you to celebrate other people's success. Number one, understand that when you compliment other people and when you appreciate other people, it makes you more likable. It actually makes you more likable to other people because people like to hear good things about themselves that's reason number one reason number two is when you are giving the compliments guess what you are actually hearing the compliments also when you're saying amazing you're hearing amazing that's good for your brain so you get to be likable to other people you also are being uh, you're hearing the good things about yourself and because you're hearing that for yourself number three is it gives you more confidence you know, it gives you more confidence um, to do good work, to appreciate people. Uh, and number four reason is it makes you a positive personality. I mean, think about it. Everybody in this world, uh, I mean, anybody that you like, I mean, if you meet any great celebrity, a really, really powerful celebrity, one of the things you're going to find out is that they are always appreciating other people. Like they're t telling good things to other people, the moment you meet them, they say, hey, very good, good to hear you. They call you sir or ma'am. Even they are making thousands of crore rupees every single month. And and that's what I'm talking about. So be in the, get in the habit of really appreciating any time somebody does something. And it, if you're not in the habit of doing that in the first few days, it's going to be a little difficult for you to get in the habit. But eventually you're going to get it. And then you'll see, oh my God, you're doing it all the time. Naturally, genuinely powerfully specifically very elegantly and the fifth reason uh, is understand that silent gratitude is useless uh, Anna Frank said once that you know dead people get more flowers than uh, you know alive people because they regret is more powerful than gratitude so see there is no point for example like this guy right he's an old person he, he's somebody's father, probably. His son probably does not give him enough appreciation. But when he's gonna die, the son will bring flowers. Oh my dad, oh my dad, I miss this about that. Like, do it now. That's what I'm talking about. So do it before people are gone from your life, gone from the profession, gone from your team. Appreciate them. Because remember, whatever you appreciate, appreciates okay so these are some of the reasons why and i think eventually the main reason you want to appreciate people is because uh, mary k ash said many years ago that people have a invisible hanging like you know a sign hanging from their neck saying please make me feel special please make me feel special so what if you become that light that defines people value 
and really elevates them in a very, very powerful and positive way just by giving them more appreciation. What if you became the guiding light and appreciation candle for everybody? Because I think many people are having bad days and bad time. What if you became a person who gave people hope? What if you became the person who gave people happiness? It is absolutely possible for you once you know how. All right, that's what I have for you. Vishal Sarkar here reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection. It's all about connection. Bye. My name is Kalpana Murlidhar. Vishal, I'm making this uh, video for all those people out there who has a message and who uh, want to become a powerful speaker that I wanted to say that I got an invitation from uh, Karnataka State uh, Higher Education Academy, Academy Darwad University, where I will, in next few days I will be speaking and empowering the top 60 professionals who have been appointed as an assistant professors to various government colleges. Good evening friends, uh, Abhishek Jha signing from Bombay. This is my fearless communication video. What, what a week. I mean, uh, you know, uh, looking at your innermost fears in its eyes and then deciding to confront it and conquer it. It has been a rock star of a week. I mean, I, I stood up for a female calling of mine. I finally went up and spoke to my super boss and I asked him, what's up, <laughs> what are you doing? I visited a dentist, uh, got a couple of my teeth fixed. I took my daughter out you know, on a Sunday morning you know, in a crowd at vegetable market and did some shopping like you know, I, used to do, I used to do with my father when I was small. Hey Vishal, thanks for the session on fearless communication in the mastermind group and encouraging me to take actions regarding my fears. In this video, I want to talk about all the actions that I've been taking to overcome my fears. At office, I had a candid discussion with one of the non-performing employees and had a good discussion with my manager regarding my development. Earlier, these were very uncomfortable topics for me. And also, I made better contributions in office meetings. In my apartment complex, I never used to participate in community meetings and uh, I took first steps to participate in those meetings and it felt as if I am coming out of my hiding. A couple of years ago, I didn't even know how to be a good speaker and today I am a powerful speaker because every session, every program, your mentoring program, public speaking program, mastermind program, your one-on-one -on -one coaching program, every session, every experience has helped me to discover my true self and connect to my authentic self and today I am a powerful speaker. And I thank myself because uh, instead of being skeptical and judgmental about myself, I took these opportunities uh, and uh, I believe that opportunities are seeking me. And the only difference between all the people out there and me and me is that you are leaving your, you are dreaming your dream and I'm leaving my dream. Bishal, I thank you for all your support, your love, compassion, your, your, all the guidance and st tools, strategies and programs and sessions have helped me to become a very powerful speaker. Thank you, Vishal. My wife is a new driver and we took first steps to boost her confidence in her driving. Overall, uh, I, I believe I've made better progress at office, at home, in the personal front, uh, at community, etc. And I believe that if I continue like this, I'll be much more effective professionally at office and I will have better visibility at home, uh, at personal front, uh, I believe I'll have stronger relationships, I'll be a better husband, better father, etc. And I'll make better contributions in the community. Thanks for uh, pushing me to make all these positive changes, post adopt positive habits so that I can get out of my comfort zone. Thank you. I just say, you know, I just want to say that doing all these things, confronting my fears, 
I just felt so relaxed, so free, so inspired and so confident that you know, I just can't fathom this feeling. Thank you very much Vishal for making me do this and thank you very very much for actually making us all realize the importance of conquering our own demons and doing this on a day to day basis. Thank you so much. And the plan for the